Hey guys, it's Aussie Reptiles here. Now I'm doing a very, very, very quick video, just touching up on some things here. Uh, if you have a look in here, yeah, you can't really see. Uh, I'll flip around to the front camera and show you. Um, at the moment, I am breeding my blue tongue lizards, or blue tongue skinks. Um, so, I've already had two of my three pairs breed. Um, so I'll get around to showing you, so enjoy. So right here we have my hypermelanistic to het hypermelanistic pairing. Trying to um, trying to let them breed um, toothless. The hypermelanistic he's not really showing too much interest. He's he's literally in shed mode. Like he's about to shed. His belly's all grey. Um, so hopefully when he sheds, he might drop his sperm plug and then fully kick into like mating mode. Um, and then his misses the head hypermelanistic is just chilling, soaking up some sun. So they haven't bred yet. They're my only pair that I haven't been able to breed yet. But if you go down here. Tiger, my yellow eastern uh, bred to Echo, who is the normal that lives up here. So hopefully she's pregnant. They've bred twice. Um, I'll probably chuck them together for a third time to uh, try and improve like the success rate. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but with blue tongues, um, they may not always get pregnant from the first time of their mating. But uh, yeah, so she's been mated twice. Hopefully she's pregnant. Um, and yeah, so if you're wondering where the two from there are, they're actually just down here. I have them tucked away while um, other ones are in their cages mating. But uh, this girl's been mated um, at least three times. I've seen them. Uh, oh, she's tucked away. So that's the het, pos het albino. Uh, she has been seen getting mated three times. I've caught them three times. Uh, put them together three times, but of course, the, and then the head reduced patterns under there. But of course, they live together, so they may have been mating while I've been at school, or blah blah blah. But um, three times seen, so she's probably pregnant again. I can't promise nothing. Um, but if she produces babies, and if we get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year, uh, one of her babies will be the ones we'll give away. So um, that's a head albino to a head reduced pattern. So you've got the opportunity of getting if you if you win you breed them to yours and then breed babies back to each other or whatnot um, maybe if you win one you want to buy another one of me then you've got a pair you could produce albinos you could produce reduced patterns and I'll stick up photos of what is what um, so albinos reduced patterns you could possibly get a reduced pattern albino and then of course your normal blue tons um, again, so with the um, yellow blue tongue to Echo, I'm not sure on what the outcome will be. Uh, hopefully, it's good. Um, yeah, I'm trying to recreate the yellow. Because um, I'm not sure if it's genetic or not. Hopefully, it is. We'll find out um, later on. So, we'll see what the babies come out like. Maybe it's poly Maybe it'll have to be polygenic. Maybe it'll be recessive. Uh, probably not co-dominant, but you never know. Um, and then, yeah, so this pairing here, if they finally do breed, it will create black, ooh, maybe? Maybe we get some action right here live? Uh, probably not. Anyway, so this pairing here will create some black babies as toothless, and then some het black babies. No normals in this litter, just blacks and het blacks. So, yeah. I thought I'd give you guys a really quick update on my blue tongues and uh, the breeding projects. Of course, I did a video about showing you which ones I wanted to breed, and yeah, it's actually happened. So, I did my yellow one to Echo, these two together, hopefully, and then of course the two down there, which are my head albino head reduced pattern. Now, if Toothless doesn't get the job done with her, the um, normal head hypermelanistic, I will probably chuck the Het reduced pattern over her to produce some het um, hypermelanistics at least. Um, because I've got someone that will want, it's going to swap me some het hypers or hypers, depending on what I can get, for some possible het anaries. And then uh, if any of them turn out to be female, he'll let me chuck uh, his male back over them. So I, later on in the future, I might have some anaries. So that's a future project. But yeah, hopefully this works out. Hopefully all my other pairings go through with pregnancy. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. See ya.